Hello and welcome to episode 46 of Lydia's Booktastic Podcast. In this episode, we are reviewing The Lost Girl King by Catherine Doyle. Hey Lydia, how's it going? Episode 46 of Lydia's Booktastic Podcast. Woo! <laughs> We got a good book today, haven't we? Yes, The Lost Girl King by Catherine Doyle. Okay, Amy and Liam Bell, what's the story? They're obviously brother and sister or something. What's the blurb on this story? Amy and Liam Bell have been packed off to stay at Grand's house in the wilds of Connemara for the summer. Out for a walk in the first morning of their holiday, they trace a fl- the flight of a hawk to a nearby waterfall, only to watch the bird disappear through it. Intrigued, the children follow and soon they realise they've discovered the entrance to Tirnanog, the the legendary land of eternal youth. But they've been tricked. Uh-oh. Most most almost immediately Liam is captured by a troop of headless horsemen who take them to Tarlock, the ruling sorcerer of Tirnanog, who is seer- seeking the bones of a human child for sinister new spell. It sounds like a lot of trouble, this book. Poor old Amy and Liam were just off for an old holiday and then he's suddenly been captured by headless horsemen. Well, in the first chapter when they're driving, Amy's asleep in the car and Liam's reading one of his fact books and it's raining. Okay. What's that got to do with them being taken away by headless horsemen? Well, well you said that. Oh, it, it's sad because like they were just about to have a fairly nice holiday. Yeah, they just were about to have a nice yeah, holiday. Yeah, but it was raining. Yeah, but it's always raining in Connemara. It's... <laughs> But it That's, was raining! Connemara is renowned for its rain. We have the greatest rain at Connemara. <laughs> it is. Anyway, back to the book. What's the crack? This sounds like a deadly book. What's the story? Did you like it? Yes. Were you intrigued as they were? Um. Well, it took me a few weeks. Like, I think it took me like a month to read. Really? Mostly because I had... A lot of books, and I could, and I really yeah. Like, we've talked about the pile of books. Yes, I started it, and then I couldn't finish it because there was another book, and then another book, and the, yeah. So you finished it yesterday. Okay, cool. Scary parts, lots of scary parts. Yeah. Yeah. Were you kind of going, oh, I don't want to read the next page, or were you going, come mm. on, give it to me? Yes, I was going, come on. <laughs> really? Okay, and it's just a proper children's novel. There's no drawings, animation, nothing like that. Uh, no. No, great. So it's a read from page to page, yes. as we call it, the page turner. So anyway. Um, I've never heard anybody call anything a page turner. Oh, yes, we do. We do. We call good books a page turner. That's what it is. You're constantly trying to turn the page. This book is in line for an award, isn't it? Uh, yes. What's that? It's um, a children's bo- books, Ireland, like... junior juries and basically there's a few other books as well and it's children's book awards yeah and it's ireland 2023 okay and there's a few books and you have to like um read them and then you can review you can like answer a few questions and send it and then it's like which book is the best okay so do you think this is deserved of being in those final couple of books Definitely. Yeah. And tell me, is it the first story and, you know, is do you reckon there's going to be a few sequels? Well, I don't know because it's it already kind of ended, but yeah, there, there there's a big chance that there might be. Brilliant. Would you like another one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because Catherine Doyle also does the Stormkeeper's Island series. Oh, you liked that book, didn't you? I've never read but, them. No, that's what I'm saying, but, but you, yeah. you wanted to grab that. I remember we were talking yeah. about that in Woodbines. Okay, we have to review that one as well mm-hmm. then. Yes. Excellent, excellent. And Camille, I have to ask the usual questions. What age group would you put this book into? Probably nine, eight and over. Okay, big words in it that you might have trouble understanding? Um, Not really. Well, there's a few uh, Irish words. Okay, but well, that's cool. So, like... You pr- like if you weren't Irish and you haven't learned like being taught Irish in school for like every single day of your life, right? You wouldn't know the book. You probably wouldn't know how to pronounce it. Okay, fair enough. Loads of people who are Irish still don't know how to pronounce it. So there you go. <laughs> you're, just, you're just talking. You're talking about yourself. I'm probably yeah yeah and like it, that. What's it? Tyrannog. <laughs> Tyrannog, I know. Right, <laughs> I know Tyrannog is the land of the owl people, isn't it? No. What is it? 
It's land of eternal youth. Oh, is it? Okay, I thought it was land of eternal old. <laughs> Where old people go to die. Oh my God. And then they never die. They just go around with I'm walking pretty sticks. Sure, I'm pretty sure Fionn McCool was like, he met a girl who was on a white pony and then they ran away over the sea and the pony grew wings and they flew to Tiernan Oak. And he stayed there for 500 years and then when he came back to visit his family, because for him it only was like five years, they were all dead. Oh, and then, that's impressive. But that's the thing depressing. Is, but the thing is, once you're there, when you come back, you can't touch the ground. Otherwise, you'll turn as many years you would be if you didn't go there. Right. So, yeah, he... Um, he tripped. No, he was, like, going on his on the horse, and then he saw two like, people, and they were trying to move a stone. So he tried to move it from the horse, and then he fell off the horse, touch, and became an old man, and then he died. <laughs> That was a stupid idea, sorry. Moral of the story. Don't, don't touch the stone. No, moral of the story. Story. If you want to go to Tierney and O, you probably have to, you have to be a professional horse rider person. Yeah. Or have a, or, or go in a, a JCB so he can lift up the stone. Or be Superman because then you can just fly. Yeah, he wasn't exactly Superman though. They don't make any films about these dudes. You know, they make films about all the Greek heroes, but they don't yeah. make movies about... Like, like Ku Cullen or I think a Ku Cullen film would be brilliant. Yeah. Like when will Disney realise that we have a lot of good folklore stories? Ah, to Disney. Should they only do princesses and stuff? That's like not that. true. They have like um they did the Wreck It Ralph movie. They yeah, did. that was good. I saw the second one. That was quite yes. good. I watched it with Lucy. Yes. That was very funny. Um they they did the, they did uh you know Wally. Yes, of course. Wally's great. So moving back onto the book here, poor El Catherine's sitting there listening to us. Hey, bring back my book. I thought you were talking about my book. We are talking about your book, don't worry. So come here, um, when I tell you, I'm I'm intrigued by this. Is this Harry Potter stuff or is it more Lord of the Rings It's stuff? more Lord of the Rings. Is it? I want to read Lord of the Rings. Right, right. So it's more the Hobbit, Lord of the Rings type stuff. Yeah. So mystical kind of, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. Power, the power I beseech on you shall avenge me and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, kind of. Swords and sorcery, as they say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. And um, long book, how big was it? I think 300 pages. Okay, yeah. so if you sat down, right, and you had all the time in the world, how quickly do you reckon you'd have gone through it? Like a week or like less than a week, probably. Brilliant. Excellent. Now, the question I always ask as well, movie potential? Definitely. Really? But I think it'd be more of a, I actually think it'd be good of an, like an anime series. Oh, cool, yeah. Because I like anime and you know those grown-up animes mm-hmm. who, that have like the really, really good anime like style in it mm-hmm. though those like manga style that kind of like as a series that would be mental manga irish bigora bigora i tell you now with you know <laughs> no you know that would actually be probably a good you know shira and the princesses of power oh, of course on I Netflix. Do. yes Shira's amazing. yes that's really good i think it'd be good at that style that's a right. very good style that's kind of like american Mm. Yeah, but it's it's still really good. But you know, there are brilliant animators here in Ireland. Mm-hmm. Brown Bag would probably do a brilliant version of that. Yes, they would be great because you know the way they're doing kind of like CGI sort of mm, now. Yes, that little girl, the Limerick Christmas thing, that was brilliant. Do you remember? You mean didn't... on Colleen Quinn? No, that's a movie. But do you remember the little cartoon they did about the girl in Limerick who was singing the Christmas songs? I... Oh yeah, that yeah, yeah that, that kind of animation mm, would yeah. be great. Yeah, so there you go. And uh, Brown Bag movies, get out there and do the yeah. Uh, Lost Girl King by Catherine Doyle. She doesn't even let me say it. Anyway, uh, so... It's a Bloomsbury book. Is it a Bloomsbury book, is it? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was an Irish publication, but it's Bloomsbury. Okay. Yes. Well, that's that's good. That's certainly good for um, getting the old story out there. So, come here. Um, final thing I have to ask you. Marks out of 10. Now, I don't want point six seven five around like that. I want straight numbers there now, Mrs. So, marks out of 10. Come on, what are you going to give it? Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10? Yes. Wow, you're hitting them high lately. It's not like your sister Lucy. She's a bit more stingy there, giving it the L6.5 out of 10. <laughs> she tells the truth. You're just trying to impress the authors. No, it is a good book. <laughs> is it really? Yes. And is there a happy ending? Yes. You're supposed to say no. We're not supposed to tell the ending. We better cut that bit out. Well, there's a happy ending. No, no, we can't Most say that. books have a happy ending. It's fine. Most adult books don't have a happy ending. Yeah, well, they're adult <laughs> books, not children's. <laughs> So 9 out of 10, that's bonkers. I mean, every single book you're reading is like 8 or 9 out of 10. I can't wait for the day you go, it was 
four out of ten. <laughs> really good, interesting read, Dan. The author will be sitting there going, oh, I can't believe she gave me four out of ten. The beast of a person. <laughs> well, um, on the bright side, at least I don't read the Encyclopedia of Military Jets. Oh, yeah, that's a brilliant book. You should it's do the a... most boring book in the world. <laughs> you should definitely do a review on that. No. The difference between an F-16 and F-35, that's... Incredible information to have at hand just in case it's ever required. I don't really care. You know, if you're like Tom Cruise and you're in a foreign yeah, country. Yeah, but I'm not Tom Cruise. The aircraft has been shot down and you go, you come out and you go, imagine he'd say, I don't know what airplane that is. And the other guy go, why not? Because I didn't read the encyclopedia of military jets. Well, it's not like I'm ever going to do that. I'm just going to be, I'm going to live in an apartment. Right. Okay. So nine out of ten. For The Lost Girl King by Catherine by Doyle. Catherine Doyle. Catherine, well done. It's a great book. Really enjoy that. Get it into a movie, TV show or something. Or at least give us another book. Isn't that right? Yes. Great. So we'll see you soon, guys, with episode 47. Yeah. We're getting yeah. old. Oh, my God. We really are. Okay. So that's episode 47 coming up. And thanks very much for listening to us today. And we will be back really soon. Bye-bye. Bye.